growing up, I went to church, um, but really had no relationship with Christ. I actually didn't grow up in a Christian household. I was in church Sunday morning, but Friday, Saturday nights, not making the the wisest decisions, the best decisions. And I loved myself and I loved my ability in soccer. And I wouldn't say in an essence that I worshiped that. I had some hardships early on in college that led me to a dinner with our team chaplain. When I came to Baylor, I um, made some poor choices and I wasn't um, being a positive influence on the team. I didn't know where I stood with God or really what I believed. And when the coaches kind of saw this unfolding, they completely embraced me and they introduced me to who Christ really is and the grace that He shows them. And He asked me a question that changed my life and He asked me, if you were to die today and God asked you, why should I let you into the kingdom of heaven, what would you say? It was the first time in my life where I really had experienced a tangible, tangible version of God's grace and giving me a second chance. The following fall, I got baptized and had half my teammates there. Jesus Christ is alone the, the best thing we can ever receive in this entire lifetime. And to have been given that through college and coming to Baylor and my time with Baylor soccer, that's been um, the most special thing ever to me. And that's worth more to me than anything that we've ever done in our careers with sports. I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have that conversation with our chaplain that night.